Okay, so I am here today with Dina Torslund. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Because my yeah. Danish is poor. <laughs> it's fine. Torslund is okay? Torslund, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So I am here with you, Dina. Thank you so much for accepting my invite. First of all, I am honored. You don't see, but you are there on my yeah, uh, on my picture, <laughs> on my you. poster, because I really, really, really like you as a boxer. Thank you. Um, for the people who don't know you, you are actually you own you own the WBO uh, bantamweight belt right now, right? Yeah. And you're the former the WBO super bantamweight champion yes. as well. Yes. And you are also, let's say that, let's be honest, in the P4P list of many, many experts in women's boxing. You are one of the favorite, you know, the top uh, threat, let's say that, uh, <laughs> P4P, yeah, pound for pound. Um, mm -hmm. Dina, first of all, I want to ask you, how are you? And, um, I see that you have a fight soon planned for April against um yeah. New Carreño, I think. Yes. So you are in training camp already? Yeah, and I just started sparring as well. So I'm happy to have, have uh, Rogelina uh, Guanini here. So it's a uh, very good sparring and we had our first session uh, last uh, yesterday and uh, we'll go sparring again tomorrow. So the camp is good now and I'm in good shape and the sparring just started. So now the fun part begins. The fun, the fun part begins. <laughs> yes, I saw pictures of you with uh, Jorgelina Guanini. She fought very well against Elise Cotney. So it's a good partner for sparring. What can she bring you uh, in the training camp, a girl like her? Jorgelina is very strong and she keep coming. So I, I expect that from my opponent in April as well. So I think they are very much alike in that way. So yeah, it's it's very good sparring for me. Yeah, it's good. Uh, what do you know about uh, Carreño? Do you know, uh, what, what do you know about her? Because she has a good record. Uh, we see that she has a good record. But I think yeah. it will be difficult for her against you. Yeah, I think so too. I, I have to win uh, no matter what. I should win it. Uh, but I think she have uh, she has everything to win. So she will come uh, with 100% because that is her biggest chance against me. So I will be prepared. But uh, but yeah, her record is good. But I've just seen some of her names. She beat it. And I don't think you should never underestimate an opponent because True. this is boxing. Everything can happen. But it's not the best opponents I think she have had. So uh, yeah, I just I just need to win. <laughs> what kind of opponent would be the best for you in that case? What who would you like to fight? If you had one girl to choose in your category, who would you like to fight? What's your first choice? Yeah, that's difficult because if I have to make a good fight with a good opponent. It, I would choose otherwise, but I have one Danish opponent here in Denmark I would like to fight. I have already won against her uh, as an amateur, but there is a bit, uh, a bit, uh, what to say, not rivalry. Hostile. Yeah, but she, yeah, rivalry. She, she, she turned pro after me, and she went. Ah, I want to be world champion. I'm like, fine, then meet me. <laughs> But no, <laughs> but the uh, Sarah Mafut would be oh. a very fun fight personally. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I think I don't think it would be a a good fight to win. It it will not make me better. But I just personally think it would be fun. <laughs> That's the fight. If you had one fight to choose, you would face Sarah Mafut. Yeah, if, if I should choose if i ch if i should choose the fun one yes and i, I couldn't choose anyone else like i only had one fight to go that would be her <laughs> maybe some maybe someday it happens right now you are not at the same weight category she is a light and uh, oh no uh, featherweight i think yeah, uh, Sarah. yeah see she's the ibf champion of the featherweight she has yeah. been inactive for almost two years and she will oh. fight i think the same month you're fighting Carreño. uh yeah. she i in the mind you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So she will be back. You you decided instead of going up 
to try to catch her, you decided to go down from the super bantam to the bantam weights last year, I think, or two years ago. Yeah. Um, I, I want to ask you why you decided this, because you were already champion as a super bantam weight uh, uh, in the super bantam weight division and other titles were vacant or were not so difficult to catch. So you could have tried to unify as a super bantam weight, but you decided to go down and try your luck as a bantam weight. Why? Yeah, because we couldn't get, get the others to fight me in super bantam. And then uh, they came up on uh, vacant the title in uh, in Bantam, and we may think it would be possible to meet Shannon uh, Courtney, who had the oh, is it WBA? Maybe I can I can remember, but she I had so. belt. Yes. So we could go after that after we get the VBO, but then she lost it, and <laughs> yeah, now they all just don't want to meet me. So it's difficult to unify. Yeah. So no one wanted to uh, to face you as a super bantamweight, and now you face the same problem as a bantamweight. The other champion don't want to fight you, but they will have to do it at a certain point. They will have to do it. Uh, well, yeah. That's, yeah, we see, um, I think Cecilia Roman is fighting Ebony Bridges uh, at the end of March. For, yeah. So Ebony Bridges will have a second title chance in one year. She got a chance against Courtney. She couldn't get to the win. She will try to get uh, the, the the title, the IBF title this month. Um, then Jimmy Mitchell fought a girl one month ago, not even one month ago. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I found. Let's talk about it. I found the <laughs> choice. Of, I found the choice of opponent a little bit weird for Jimmy yeah. Mitchell's first defense. Not. I. I don't have anything uh, against the opponent. Uh, she is a good fighter, but I think it couldn't. It didn't help Jamie to get prepared for a bigger challenge. No, no. And I. I feel they may want her to face Shannon Courtney again in short term really that's my opinion yeah maybe but they wouldn't get anything out of it like yeah there's no point but yeah we'll see what they will do yes exactly tell me um you say you were avoided uh so you have tried to fight to 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 to, uh, to unify and they say no to your offers or yeah my trainer he's a bit annoyed about it I, I'm as well, but he works hard to get the fights and he he kind of, I think, provoke them to get the fight, but it does, they don't bid on it. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what would happen now, but I'm just, uh, I have just been on a contract with the uh, Probellum and yes. I hopefully, I, I really cross my fingers that they will make something happen for me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, problem. I was very happy to see when uh, to see that uh, agreement with them because first of all, I was like, we hear a lot about them, about problem. Right? They are everywhere, and I was sad because I was like, they don't have women almost, only men, and suddenly they got you and Estelle Mosley. Almost they announced it in the same day or same week. I was very happy because this is uh, you are both two good, very good uh, female fighters. Um, what do you expect from Probellum, from, from this agreement? What would you like uh, from this? I expect they make uh, good fights, make it happen for me. Uh, so they have to pull some strings and get some good offers to the opponents and to the to the title holders so we can get unified. Yeah, that would I want you, to say. Would you mind to, go, uh, to, to fight outside Denmark? Or for you, it's very important to fight in Denmark? I the uh, in Denmark outside Denmark, I don't care. I just want. I think there's not much of my career left, so I really want to make everything out of it, and I want to meet the best, and I want to unify. That's what my goal is uh, while I'm boxing. That's funny that you say that. There's not much of my career left because you're so young. You're still so young, but like you're also a mom. You yeah. also you work as well, right? Or do you live from boxing? You, you have well, a regular work. You're I have work. The, uh, while I was boxing, but this time, the, for the first time, I have taken a leave uh, in my job. So the last month up to my fight, I am off work, 
and that will be the first time I have done that. So I will get and I will be uh, very much prepared for the fight. Okay, so you took a, a couple of weeks off, like one month, one month and a half off in order to get well prepared. Because yeah. it, it, I think like for female boxers in general, okay, men, male boxers, many, they earn a, enough money to live from that. But women's boxing is different. It's not yet super lucrative. Um, it must be, it's already difficult for other female boxers to, you know, just to make their um, gym schedule and their training schedule fit with their work schedule. Yeah. You were working, you are working in general, you train and you're a mom. It's even more difficult. How do you do this? What kind of routine do you have? Uh, well, it starts early in the morning and ends late in the night. And uh, my day is full booked with the training and yeah, get my dogs out, get getting my kid home and yeah, you know, washing laundries and making food and train again and not eat that much. <laughs> so I think it's just it's just you had to have to make a schedule and stick to it. And when you when I'm training, then I'm 100% focused on that. And when I'm a mom, I'm 100% focused on that. So I just have to be focused in what I am in. And then, yeah, it can happen. But there's no break. Never. There's no break. You're always you always have something. You yeah, always have something. The break is walking the dogs. <laughs> And then, yes, that's that's your 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 quiet moment of the day. You yeah. go outside, you walk the dogs, and you think about anything. But and I'm pretty sure you still think about uh, training or being a mom when you walk your dogs. And I'm, I'm, uh, what to do next? And after that, I have to do this, and then I need to hurry to get that done. And then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a lifestyle and huh? that's what we call a lifestyle it truly is yes uh tell me um let's talk about this fight of cecilia roman against ebony bridges okay yeah. do you believe cecilia will survive to ebony pow ebony's power power punch or you think cecilia is better technically uh, because you know mm. both are very different yeah i actually don't know that much about each boxer but i i don't think bridges would have strength enough to stop her the other mm -hmm. one so i think you yeah it will be exciting to see what the outcome is yeah because it can be a, a good practice it, you know you can you can see what could happen next for you we never know uh no. you know pro bella may try to uh, to get an opportunity for you after this fight against the winner maybe the same against jimmy mitchell we never know uh Julian Luna is very. Uh, I would like to see you against the, the Julian Luna, the Mexican, okay. but she doesn't seem to be interested in that kind of challenges. Oh. That's my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's. I think it said it said that it will be a, like this mental men, mentality that like we don't don't uh, fight against the hard ones. I think it said we should be like the best need to meet the best. Yeah. Uh, I think we need more of that mentality. You know why I'm saying that? It's because her last fight was against an opponent, uh, like very weak opponent. And when you're a champion, I don't think you should fight fight girls with two wins, three wins, and twenty two victor, uh, uh, no. twenty two uh, loss losses. No. I think it's almost dangerous in a certain way. So no. I would like to see her against someone like you, someone against uh, like Cecilia Roman. Mm. But it's like it doesn't happen right now. And I feel I feel sad a little bit for her because it, she is good. She has proven that she is good when she uh, she got the win against Mariana Juarez. But I would mm. like to see her against you a little bit like when you the, you fought uh, Zulina Munoz. Um, well, it was your last fight, I think. Uh, yeah, it was right. impressive, but like she has a style, a little bit like Zulina's style, and that would that would give a good show, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, a loss wouldn't be like uh, it wouldn't be an end of a career, but you will develop from it. So I think we need to meet 
the best to develop and then take they take a weed match if uh, you need to yeah. exactly exactly uh, tell me is it easy for you to make the weight at 118 like as a as a bantam weight is is it easy e easy for you because you were 122 uh, you're very busy uh, it's a sacrifice or it's was never it easy never <laughs> easy the weight in is always a fight <laughs> the weight is always a fight no yeah. matter what weight you are you get accustomed to it and then you have yeah. to Uh, yes yeah I, i eat from a very strict uh, diet and i know what to eat and how much uh, so i i begin uh, already from the start of the camp to go down in weight because otherwise i will never make it <laughs> how do we lose weight in a safe way as a boxer what is the best way to lose weight that is not too dangerous because i see sometimes people you know we've seen it a lot in mma uh, but we've seen it as well um, in the last years people rushing a lot to make weight and being very weak on the scales uh, yeah. how do you do what what is your advice to someone as an example who tries to make weight uh for beginning of the career maybe and they are a little bit uh, they, they don't know how to start with this yeah uh, yeah it, it's like math you have to need you need to know how much calorie you burn from your body every day and you need to eat less than that and you need to eat like 700 calories a day less than what you burn So you, it's like math. You just have to go in minus every day. <laughs> but uh, but for me, it's easier to set some goal like, uh, okay, the first two weeks I need to lose, uh, let's say, 400 grams. Then then it's my first goal. It's to lose 400 grams. And then I set the next goal because if I just have to say to me, like, you have to lose eight kilos. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that's but, a then, lot. Uh, but then if I don't lose it, then I'm, I'm just... Yeah, I'm stuck on that. So I, I need to go with some small goals in the beginning. Okay. And when you are on the scale, right after you eat, you drink, how much do you gain usually in the same day? When you're, yeah, you, you are at the weigh-in, you are at 118 as you're supposed, you know, your correct weight. The following day, let's say, how much did you gain? Usually? I will say at least uh, four kilos four kilos yeah just with the water and eating yeah, more. The yeah. okay that's that's impressive i would i'm not sure i would be able to be as disciplined <laughs> as you are but it's impressive <laughs> it's impressive how the body can respond mm. uh, to, to what... I tell my body like don't worry it will get over soon you will get food and water soon. <laughs> <laughs> and you see your kid eating uh, ice yeah, cream yeah. and Thank cake you. And yeah, it's funny. you're like, no, <laughs> I want as well. Tell me, Dina, when did you start boxing and how? Why boxing uh, in Denmark? I know it was, I know there was the, the, the uh, Michael Kessler uh, effect yeah. at a certain way, as at a certain time, a couple of maybe uh, 10, uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, Michael Kessler was very famous. Yeah. Was it the Michael Kessler effect or you started oh. for other reasons? I started because I had uh, one of my best friends. She wanted to go to boxing because her older brother was former daily champion okay. in amateur. Uh, and then she wouldn't, she wouldn't go alone. So she was like, Dina, can you come? She knew I was very, I have always been like a boy is playing football and handball and go outside riding and stuff like that. So she was like, can you come? And yeah, I can try. And then uh, I kept boxing and uh, she started uh, her own clothes uh, company after so we we went uh, our different ways <laughs> yes so you continued and this person decided to leave yeah. <laughs> to leave boxing and w why did you like the sport the discipline what uh, interested you when you started i have always liked to uh, win and uh, i think it was it uh, boxing is never easy But some has more talent than others, and and I just I could feel like this is something I can do, and uh, and yeah, my trainer told me if I wanted to stay and uh, and go forward with it, then I could be Danish champion in a year. How so, old were you at that time? 
I was we tried it uh, at 13 first, but uh, it didn't go because because of transport and yeah. Uh, so we tried again when we were 15, and then that was when I began. Okay, and so you started as an amateur, and uh, you uh, how many fights uh, you have as an amateur? You do you know? Yeah, about 40. 40. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. And so you were with Sarama Food as an amateur. Yes, <laughs> that was one of my latest uh, wins and the latest fight I had. Okay, <laughs> okay. So you beat the, you beat her uh, as an amateur. Yeah. And the uh, the score was uh, very clear. I won uh, seven thirteen uh, on the computer boxing. That was when uh, the score point was like that. Okay, so. Yeah, so you already beat her. So yes. maybe someday and in the future again for fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fans would love to see this, though. Yeah. It would be such a big, a huge thing in Denmark locally. You would uh, feel a, uh, you would feel a, t a stadium with uh, with such a fight. Maybe not a stadium, but it will be a, a, a very very nice evening and a big event. Um. Is 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 uh, boxing popular in the in Denmark or right now? No, not that much. Uh, since the time with Miguel Kessler is all, only going down, uh, so we really need some to yeah keep it interesting and making good role models and get the kids into the training room and uh -huh. yeah make it popular again. Okay, and uh, yeah, the, because that's right. Except aside of you and Sarah, not a lot of bells have been won uh, in the, by Danish boxers, right? Uh, yeah. Since Mikhail Kessler. No, not that much. Not that much. Um, tell me, um, do you think um, do you think women's boxing has improved a lot? If we compare when you started, when you were fifteen or thirteen years old, and now, do you see an evolution of women's boxing? I think, uh, especially the last uh, five years, I think there has been a big improvement for for women's boxing. Uh, we got some good uh, role models with Katie Taylor, and there mm -hmm. is uh, Cecilia Bayakus, and and people like them. Uh, Clarissa Schill is also a, a good uh, role model, at least an an idol for some, uh, mm -hmm. and they they make they they have a voice for women's boxing in this sport. True. So uh, I think uh, people like them and, and also other girls, they they really make a good job in the sport right now. That's true. Um, Katie Taylor will fight Amanda Serrano um, this year, a little bit later in, in April too, eh? like in April. And probably Clarissa Shields will fight Savannah Marshall a little bit later this year. At least that's what we hope. Uh, um, what of those fights seems more interesting for you? Taylor Serrano or Shields Marshall? Taylor Serrano uh, would be the most interesting for me because if I if I could point out an opponent, it could be one of them and not the, the Shields and Marshall. So, uh, so I think it would be an interesting fight between those two. And yeah, I just, yeah, it is, it is exciting. It is two big names in the sport. If uh, Amanda Serrano goes back to 126, would you would you like to fight her if you had an opportunity? Yeah, definitely. I would take it. It wouldn't be a problem for you to you are one you were a bantam uh, to, to go to um, to um, Feder as an example no, for a way. Yeah, yeah. Without uh, blinking. <laughs> Without blinking, because that's something I would like to see. I mean, I, I, you know, my food as well. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, yeah. The my food five, but like, but it's not sport, sportly good for me. It, it, it won't improve me as a boxer meeting her, and it won't make my name bigger because of meeting her. But it would be very interesting to meet Amanda Serrano or, or a girl like that. I would love to see Serrano against you. You are, in my opinion, two pound for pound ladies, uh, two very, very strong queens in your categories, in your respective categories. No matter what happens against Taylor, if she, I think Serrano 
already mentioned she wanted to go down to 100 mm -hmm. uh, uh, to feather uh, in order to finish what she, what she has started you know because mafu doesn't accepted an offer yet to face serrano and yeah. um the same for cruz uh, erica cruz the, uh, the other the other uh, the other uh, champion and serrano she owns uh, other belts there so i think she wants to finish to unify the category well, I would love to see you against her. If it's not the, if the other ones are too chicken uh, to face you at a, as a bantam, I'm pretty sure Serrano wouldn't be chicken at all. To no, face no, you. I think she I don't think that kind of girl. Girl. But it could be a very, very nice fight. Yeah, and she's not that kind of girl. You know, she is. No. She goes. Uh, she 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 faces uh, who she needs to face. Yeah. She uh, she's focused on excellence a little bit like you. Um, I want to to tell you, I, f I, f I found your fight against Zulina Munoz so impressive. Thank you. It was, no, but it was this knockout. The body shot was like just perfect. Yeah. Um, uh, and like, I think it showcased a lot of your skills uh, because we already knew you were so good and, and so on. But Zulina Munoz, is someone with a lot of experience yeah. she is like a bulldozer she goes ahead you know she yeah. goes ahead and she uh, is a she's a, also a power puncher and she throws a lot of punches and you you own that fight from the beginning till the end i mean i felt it, them it was yeah, good it, it was the way we saw it it was your fight it's a kind of signature fight in my opinion because of you know you got the knockdown first <laughs> then the knockout but all the work around that it was like very beautiful the way you you were moving on the on the surface uh, you, you, the angles you know the way you work the body that was beautiful and Thanks. I, that's why I would like to see you against Julian Luna because I think Julian Luna has the same is the same kind of fighter. Uh, than if we compare with Munoz, mm -hmm. but she is younger and she is like probably a little bit stronger as well. I think the size would would give such a show. You said you were interested last year to face Courtney because she had a title and yeah. she lost it, obviously would you be interested to face her anyways or if there's no interest anymore because uh shannon is not the as yeah. strong opponent as maybe uh, another one uh that i don't think shannon would be good for me to win against the uh, if you don't have a title it, it's it's not something i could learn from i think but every fight will be something you can learn from obviously but i think in my career i need to make every fight count and i want yeah. to fight the best and i want to have a new title or defend my own or get unified with with moves so yeah i i just want to go uh, with the important fights and not some regular fight do you mind fighting uh, two minute rounds or for you it, you would benefit of three minute rounds in your opinion i think uh, it would be a benefit for me to get three minute rounds i train three minute rounds uh, so I, I i know i can do it uh, and I think it would be, yeah, especially against, for example, some food, it would be very uncomfortable with three meter rounds with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're very confident about this fight. Yeah, yeah, I won this fight, but I know I will win and I will give yeah. a show. <laughs> and I really don't want to be show off and I'm very... Uh, no, you're not show off. And, and no, no, I won't, I won't be humiliating anything, but... I'm just like I know I I will win, and I'm not uh, not even doubting it. But I'm not taking anything away from her. She's a good boxer, but yeah, she will but just. You're better. That's what you're saying. I she's a good yeah. boxer, but I'm better. But yeah. it's, this is not being show off. This is confidence. This is self confidence, yeah. and I think still opinion. But I think in a in a, a sport a discipline like boxing you need to have a confidence because it's not easy it's not easy you receive punches you give punches you try to avoid punches it's not like a mild a mild sport so no. if you don't show trust or self-confidence mm, it's it's already a problem i don't yeah. you're not show off and you're you're not show off it's very difficult to find 
uh, to find trash talk for, from you. You're not the kind of girl uh, doing <laughs> trash talk at all. You don't give a lot of interviews. In English, you don't give a lot of interviews. It's difficult to find um, to find you. Uh, you're very quiet. You do your things, I think. You, you, you have your mom, as you said. You, you have your routine. For you, is it important all uh, what all what is around a fight, like using internet to sell a fight? Uh, it could become like Clarissa Shields uh, the, or like Amanda Serrano. You know, they post a lot. Sometimes they fight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they fight with words with the opponent. Sometimes uh, they just like show a lot of. Uh, uh, information about their routine their training routine posting pictures videos and so on you are more discreet on social media um is there a reason no not really i'm not that private person but i just as you say i'm busy with with my own stuff i'm busy keeping my kid uh, uh, yeah get him to school and go with the dogs and go to work and get the laundry done so i'm busy with all other things than the show, social medias but I, i'm not hiding anything any anyone can ask me everything and anyone is welcome in my home as well so it's not like there's no secrets but i just yeah you're I, just a busy woman yeah i'm just a busy woman like and most women yeah like most women i'm not and i'm not the best on social media and i won't be the one who was who's talking a lot about myself uh, I'm, i'm just not that type but yeah i could get a lot of more followers and i could get a lot of more attention if i wanted to i know that but i'm 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 just not that person you're not that person if you have if we have to describe your style okay if if i'm new i don't know you at all and i want to understand who is dina what kind of box as dina what can you tell me about your style uh i'm i may not be the best technical but i may be one of the strongest uh that yeah i think that much is pretty much describing me the strength your your the, the power the power yeah. yeah you're good technically as well you're very yeah, humble but, saying but, that you're the best maybe but you're very good thank you <laughs> <laughs> You're humble. <laughs> This is humble. <laughs> um, um, so, if we okay, what kind of opponents do you like the most to fight? Uh, I'm not searching names. I'm searching styles. As an example, Zulina Munoz that you fought. Uh, the style, the Mexican style, you know, uh, power puncher, uh, pressure fighter, going ahead. Is it something you appreciate, or this is not what what uh, what's better if we want to have a very, very beautiful fight to watch? Uh, is it something else that you that, that you prefer to fight? Or? No, I like the ones who wants to come to me uh, mm -hmm. because they are more than welcome. So it. it... <laughs> Just make it easier for me. <laughs> They are more than welcome because I have the punch to welcome you. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Um, let's say, okay. Um, do, who do you think fears you the most in your weight category? Who do you think fears you the I most? So, uh, All of them? No, no, I don't. I don't know. Uh, yeah i really don't know i i just ask myself sometimes why do they not want to meet me like yeah i i just don't don't understand it they get an offer to unify or to get a shot at my title or yeah something like that but just like why uh, i i wonder about that sometimes mm -hmm. um If you had to choose between being undisputed in one category or being a champion in three different weight weight categories, what would you prefer? You have to choose one. You cannot uh, undisputed. Yeah. Yeah. So Serrano can wait. Yeah, Serrano can wait or she can come as well. <laughs> I just yeah. want I just want to make my fight count. So if it means uh, to unify or to go to a third weight class, then I will do it because I want to make the most out of my career. So I want to make 
Uh, yeah, my career counts in the sport, especially here in Denmark as well. Uh, I will be the first one to make it in three category, uh, categories, weight categories. So it would be an achievement as well. One boxer you enjoy watching. You're not fighting, but you enjoy watching. Male, female, doesn't matter. Who you like to watch? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, watching uh, boxing that much. <laughs> yeah, I have actually no time. don't have television because I don't have the time. <laughs> you have no so television. The thing, yeah, the only time I watch boxing is uh, the clips on Facebook or Instagram or yeah, stuff like that. But I, in general, I just like uh, I like watching boxing, who, which is good. I'm not that uh, holding and uh, hugging and yeah, I just want people wanting to box. Yeah, yeah, when both people want. Yeah, that's the that's the most interesting fights to watch. That's interesting that you don't watch boxing that much. You're not the only one, you know, a couple of other people are like you. So you need to have a good team around you to get to get you prepared to the opponent because yeah. they watch more boxing than you probably. And yeah, they know better the opponent than you. So you trust a lot your team. Yeah, uh, completely. They tell me what to do and then I do it. <laughs> okay, yes. So, you know, this is a mindset a different mindset we compare and you're not the only one as i said i know other uh, other boxers like you they oh this one i don't know that much or that this one this boxer i don't know i don't know uh, no. I, I couldn't choose i don't know uh, why but because they don't want to get distracted from and and you know the routine is so heavy as a boxer already uh when you have you are a mom as i said um this uh, removes some free time from your schedule so yeah. no time for tv no time to watch this but your team like your team uh, do you are you still with the same coach or you change yeah. coach in the meanwhile you you kept the same coach since the I beginning the yeah that is my son's father <laughs> oh okay so uh, someone and someone you're very close to yeah we trust okay. each other and we know each other both in good and bad. In good and bad, which is important as well. Yeah. Very important. Okay. Um, something from the training routine you don't like. You know, some people, they, they say, oh, I don't like jogging. I don't <laughs> like running. Oh, I don't like um, the diet or I don't yeah. like uh, ro jumping ropes, you know. Yeah, I, I hate the diet. I I love chocolate and I love cake yeah, and I cannot get anything of it. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's but probably general, why you say, oh, my career, my boxing career is not is already advanced. You know, as our, we are not at the, you know, I. when do you plan to finish boxing? Well, I don't have a exact date, but uh, I will keep continue as well as long as I have uh, some goals to go after. Uh, okay. Yeah. So. So a lot of privacy, you know, a lot of um, you won't you won't eat a lot of chocolate in the next years. No, no, not much. But still, when I'm off a uh, fight, then I have at least two weeks off, and then I eat chocolate. <laughs> What do you do when you have a week off like this? Uh, after a fight, as an example, what do you do to um, free your mind a bit from all that? Because the tension, the stress of, you know, all the, 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 the fight week is very heavy and the punches that you get and you give. What, what do you like to do aside of boxing? Well, usually the Monday after I have fought on Saturday, I go to work. <laughs> so uh, I start working and, and I just, yeah, return to the normal day because when I have my career as a physiotherapist in, in, in like every day and I have uh, my son and dogs and boyfriend and house to keep, uh, then there is a lot of things. And then I put all the training with boxing uh, on top of that, then there's really a lot of things. So when I'm off uh, training uh, after a fight, then I just have a lot of things to do and not a really a lot of things to do. So <laughs> I still have like morning to evening programs when I'm not fighting. So when it's fight day, you fight and the following day you go to work. Yeah. 
as simple as that. Yeah. No vacations. <laughs> Maybe no. one day, one day sometimes. Yeah, I have, I have Sunday to relax. Oh, and yeah. Then I go, uh, to work Monday. Yeah. So on Sunday, you relax, you eat a lot of chocolate. Yeah, and cake. <laughs> and cake. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go back to work to take care of your customers uh, your uh, because your physio as you said is such a very serious job um but i have i have a very very nice job i work uh, as a physical therapist in a special uh, kindergarten for hand oh uh, yeah this so. is interesting <laughs> so you work with kids yeah mainly all the time yeah <laughs> It's beautiful. It, it, this is beautiful because kids are joyful, you know. So yeah. after, as an example, after a week of very high uh, uh, pressure and, you know, fight week and so on, when you go back to kids at work, kids are kids. You know, they don't think yeah. about boxing. They don't think no. about the private the privations you, you had before. They don't care that you have bruises or they, they just, no. uh, be, they are just kids yeah they just said like hi dina then you know it's then it's uh, every day again and it's very nice to go back to them that's that's very nice i uh, thank you very much dina for this time you gave me i'm very very well, happy um <laughs> if we want to watch you uh your fight is on what date uh the 9th of april april 9th against uh, new york is carreño uh, this is the fight, your next fight, um, and uh, it, it's your first fight with Probellum, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we will uh, we will follow you. We will follow what's next for you because I'm pretty sure that's not the only fight you're gonna have this year. Probellum has a reputation to find a lot of opportunities for their fighters. Okay. So yes, I I'm pretty sure we we may we may see you outside uh, Denmark maybe. Yeah. As well. Thank you so much, and I wish you a very, very good evening. Thank you, and you too. Thank you.